Hello, it is January in Northwest Pennsylvania, and like a lot of the country, it's been frightfully cold, and I have the BX42 Blues. Two things. Um, one, my block heater has totally failed. The pins have rotted off, and yeah, that's not special. So I have to go and look up how to install this, because I, or how to take it out, because I don't remember. There is a, it looks like you almost have to put a pipe wrench onto the fitting because there's no flats. So I really don't remember how I got that in there. So there's the first part. The second part was the engine started surging this summer and I forgot. And now I've got an engine that can barely idle and it was a work to get it in here into the barn. What that's about is I probably have clogged fuel filters compounded with the cold weather. Now I use a fuel additive. I use diesel 911, but that's not enough. And if I started getting even a little bit of paraffin buildup, probably the filter upstream of the fuel pump underneath the chassis is fouled. But I'm going to change both of them, including this one. Now I'm going to share a little bit of my life with you here. I do have a heated garage and that's really a blessing for this. And, and this is what a tractor and traction looks like. Okay, I use the bucket to lift the front end and yes I'm using real bona fide safety stands. Um, too well acquainted with someone who got killed using cinder blocks. Don't do it by putting the bucket all the way down I was able to slip the cowling off. Not easily, but I could. Of course you have to take the grill guard off. So since I'm in this blissful 50 degree uh, climate I will be using that to check the rest of the engine um, my neighbor plowed my driveway for me today, and I'm extremely grateful. But I need to get back to doing that myself. Um, I have no regrets for putting them on, but I do have a skid plate between me and the other fuel filter. So that's going to have to get dropped. So, you know, life goes on. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you this. I think that the really the best part of this is... Um, if you have to service your 42, um, this is one way to do it. Lift the front end, safety jacks, then I set the brake, put it in neutral, and took the keys out of the ignition. Oh, and if you're working in a garage, don't forget to put your ROPs down. Um, I've just totally humiliated myself too many times by forgetting that. Put the ROPs down while you're backing in. So anyway, uh... If your block heater is not seemingly doing the job, it may have totally died on you. I've never had a block heater fail on me before um, in a car. So this is like new to me. So there you have it. I'm going to walk around one more time for a close shot of that plug so you can look at it. The hint that it was going bad wasn't just that it wasn't heating. But I wiggled the plug one day reaching down and I got a pop and I got a flash and I got a oh golly. So if you look closely you can see the pins are right in there. They've just sort of died with their boots on. So now I have to figure out how to get the plug out. Alright, of course yes, I know, drain the fluid first. Okay, I'm on it. Take care, stay warm.